Hey, I um, want to kind of introduce a board I made kind of mid to late last year, and it is for the Raspberry Pi Pico, and it is a breakout board. Get it up here, and it gives you the ability to talk to an ESP01 module. Um, the module will be hooked to UART1 and you have the option to use the two sets of pins for UART1 because you have multiplexing going on the Pico for different pins. So just UART1 because um, the Arduino stuff, um, you're kind of limited to to be in to, to do that so I want I wanted to make it like that and and for my purposes you are one's fine so um but here's a kind of a close-up of it you have jumpers to select the different pin configurations for the transmit and receive based on which pair you use got some documentation talking about the the voltage regulator, um, you can use, it's recommended to use a 3.3 um, AMS or LMS or LMA um, 117 regulator. You want a 1 amp version. Um, you can use a 5 volt regulator to power the Pico, but you can't power the the ESP module with that. And if that's the case, if you're going to do that and split the power, have five volts here to power the Pico, um, you will have to use an external power supply for the ESP, which th that is an option here. There's a jumper um, that you would normally connect if there's a 3.3 volt regulator there, but um, you just leave it unjumpered. But you got your room for your power supply, capacitor, uh, a reverse protection diode, which can be bypassed, voltage in, your reset button, um, option for whatever pull-ups you want to use for I2C based on what pin configuration you use there for the Pico. And then I got some information on the jumpers themselves on the board. And down there it talks about them too. And then on the reverse side you've got your jumpers. and capacitor for decoupling and, and all the good stuff okay so here is the board in use there's one soldered up we'll look at that one real quick with the components you get a little better view of that this one i have the diode on this one i have the diode bypassed and both of these have um 3.3 regulators one amp you do want to use the one amp like i said because you're going to need for the Pico and the ESP, you're going to be running usually around 150 during transmits um, and receives. But, but um, the ESP itself has the standard um, AI Thinker um, AT um, firmware on it. Um, it may work with the Express if I'm not sure. I don't know if I've tried that, but it does work. Most of them, most of the firmwares you get on the boards pre-populated is the AI Thinker. So, but here we go. Here's it with the Pico on there. And I have it configured for this. I, I, I prefer um, four and five for my um, UART one pin configuration so got it on here it's running um and i here's this is the web page that it gives so we'll do a refresh here and it does the little counter increase there i'll do it again just in case you can see that there we go four so and then as you can, should be able to see the lights on the esp flash when i do a refresh okay so now um we can turn we have some options here. Um, this is like like it like it states. 
Hello from the World's Worst webpage. And hello, Comrade Strudel, we meet again. He's a character I had in a text adventure game years ago that I wrote. Um, let's see, LED on. Oh, click it on first. There's on. Click off or flash. Click flash. There we go. There we go. So it's flashing. And that's all it does. So, um, but it gives you the ability to, um, to, to, to easily and cheaply, um, connect an ESP to, a Pico. And sometimes, all, you know, all you're doing is sending small amounts of data. You're not going to run a full-blown web server. Hopefully not anyway. Um, and, you know, use the, the great abilities of the, the RP2040 um, chip um, with the Wi-Fi abilities of the ESP. Um, com rate is set to uh, 115.2, um, which is the default com rate for the newer, newer systems, um, newer firmware. But you can change that if you want to, and then change that in your code. And I will do another video looking at this code here that's that's doing this here. But, but yeah, it, that's it. It's running. And if I could hit the buttons, it would be even better. So, oh, okay, that's why it's not doing that. It's not updating because I got flash right there. So let's get that. Yeah. There we go. But that's it. Um, I will do another video looking at the code. But um, if you want to get this board made, um, you can get five of them made um, with shipping um, from places like JLC PCB and PCB Way um, for about twenty dollars or less with shipping for five boards, um, and. Um, that that's probably right at or cheaper than what you would do pay for getting a a, a pre-made board from um, a, a, a vendor. But if you want any information on this, I'll have it in the link. And if you have any questions or anything about it, just let me know in the comments and have a good day.